So whenever you start a new project in Maya, you have to start with the project directory. The way you do that is by going to File, Project, New. You can give your project a name over here. So I'll call this New Maya. And you can choose the location. In this case, I'm just going to say Use Defaults. And Maya is going to make all these subdirectories for me. Let me show you what Maya did. So if I just go over here, this is the new project folder I made. It made all these subdirectories for me. So, for example, my scenes will be saved under the scenes folder. Let's say if you're done working on one computer, and if you wanted to take that project to a different computer, you simply have to say file project set and set it to that new Maya folder. And then if you say open, it'll open exactly inside the scenes folder. In some other versions of Maya, you can do the exact same thing, but it's under File, Project Window. And it comes with some different options like primary project locations, secondary project locations, and so on. So again, I'll simply give it a name over here and the location. In this case, I'm already working on a project called 9, so I can just say New and it'll ask me a name for the new project and also the destination. Some other things you might want to know when you start with anything new in Maya is where is your undo queue? So that's under Window, Settings and Preferences, Preferences. And if you go right over here, Undo, by default there are 50 levels of undo in Maya, but you can increase those or you can turn them to infinite levels of undo. Another thing which can be very important is to understand the working units in Maya. So you go under Settings right here. These are your working units. You can change them from centimeter to millimeter, meter, inch, foot, and so on. Also, understanding your grid is very important in Maya when you first start with any project. The grid can be simply turned on and off from here. You can find the grid settings under Display, Grid. And if you go to this little Options box, it opens the grid options for you. And you can send the length and the width for the grid units over here, the grid lines, and so on. And the subdivisions on the grid. So if I increase those, and if I increase grid lines to 2, or 20 in this case, you can see that it totally changed.